Nine justices of the Supreme Court are presiding over Robert Chagrani Sentam's presidential electoral petition in the just concluded 2021 polls. The Supreme Court bench is led by Chief Justice Alfonso Winyedolo and presided over by other eight justices. Despite nine justices presiding over the Supreme Court's bench in Robert Chagrani Sentam's petition, Malema Vidis now demands Chief Justice Alfonso Winyedolo step aside as he cites conflict of interest. Attached Onyedolo's CV, which CV he gave to the Justice Commission in 2017 when he wanted to become the Deputy Chief Justice. He has said that he was a defense lawyer representing Museveni in 2006 election petition. Now, the question is if you are a lawyer, a personal lawyer of one of the parties, can you be a judge in the case? The answer is no. But Onyedolo has kept on sitting in this case. Malema Vidis is an expert in Robert Chagrani Sentam's electoral petition, but claims Doro presiding over the bench is contrary to the constitution and the basic principles of fair hearing. Then uh, there have been concerns that you're not a party, you cannot come to, to court. That's false. I don't, need, I don't need to be a party because our constitutional article 3 gives us all power to defend the constitution, but more importantly, it gives us power to fight corruption. Malema Bidis also accuses Chief Justice for holding several meetings with President Yorika Gutam Seven, yet is presiding over the bench in Chagrani's petition. So arising from that, the second one is meeting Seven. He met him Seven at the, 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 the judicial, the annual lawyer, when the case was here. He even met him at State House at the, at the swearing guild of justice opinion. Then he was claiming that Smanyi was filing a budget. But the question is, you have a Deputy Chief Justice. The Deputy Chief Justice is supposed to do that work in case you, 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 you are not, especially in this case where you are conflicted. But you cannot meet a party with whom you have a case at the same time and come back and sit in that case. Malema Vidis also wants the Supreme Court to set aside the ruling which was delivered by this Honorable Court on Thursday last week where Robert Chagrani sent him was seeking amendments in his petition. Because the person who participated in that ruling was not supposed to sit. And I've given them the authority of UK, of, of General Pinochet, where the House of Lords in UK had to set aside its own decision because one of the judges who sat had a problem, had a conflict of interest. It has been a tug of war between the Supreme Court registrars to receive Malema Bilis's application. According to the laws governing this court, the Chief Justice may step aside in case one table substantial evidence against him. Now we are saying that Malema Bilis is, not, is a bystander in as far as this matter is concerned. Mm. He's not a party, he's not a council, and therefore he cannot be seen to urge the way he's arguing. It is only the parties, it's only the lawyers of, in a matter who can ask a judge to recuse himself from a case. Mm. If they have not done so, then a bystander cannot come up to, 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 to argue like that. Supreme Court has only 10 justices. However, nine justices are presiding over Robert Chagrani St. Amy's case, leaving Justice Talema Ekilikovinza on the seat. The Supreme Court, by handling a presidential petition, it handles it in a panel session. A panel session has a chair who, in this case, is the, is the chief justice. So if, let's say, at the beginning of the matter, if the chief justice was unable to sit on the panel for whatever reason, any of the judges who is senior would have, uh, would have, been, would have been asked to lead the session, to lead the panel. But the chief justice, once he's there, by virtue of being a chief justice, has to be the chair of the panel. Deborah Namamonde, Lydia Chomkama, UBC News.